Rockin' Rob, and I'm here today to talk about headphones. I just got back from Mobile Beat Las Vegas, and I got to experience some really nice headphones, but I also brought some home with me. And uh, when I was checking out uh, my new headphones, uh, I decided to put them up against what I already had. So all this information was just uh, building up inside me, and I want to tell you what I discovered. First, we'll talk about my DJ headphones. This is the Newmark PHX headphones. I bought these about six years ago and they've been doing great, except for the fact that they didn't always look like this. They used to look like some, something similar to this. They actually had the headband and everything, but uh, over the years of rigorous uh, work, uh, they broke and they kept breaking, and I kept fixing them, and they kept breaking, and I was like, oh, geez, what crazy. So, finally, I just stuck them back to back, put some tape in there, and now I have just a regular headphone. Um, when I very first started uh, DJing, there was a, a company called Stanton that made a single cup with a, with a shoulder rest. That was really nice, but uh, they didn't make them anymore, and obviously they still don't make them now. So when this came up, I wasn't really that upset that uh, I had to tape them up like that because it's just so comfortable to uh, hold it right there. I can still do my work, and I have my monitor ear. I can hear what's out there. I can hear what's in here, and it's really helpful that way. And plus, when I'm ready to ready to uh, uh, finish. And just drop it and you're good to go. <laughs> so even though uh, physically these haven't really held up as well as uh, I'd expect, I'm still really happy with it. And another feature which I'm, uh, I, I discovered last night uh, that kind of spoiled me was uh, these, uh, I don't know what you call these uh, beds here, these little earpieces, but on the new mark they, they screw off and I remember when I got these that it came with extra uh, ear pads. Uh, one was a fabric, which I never used, and this is the leather. And I, I could probably still get replacement parts for these. But in all the rest of my headphones, none of them do that. None of them have replaceable ear, ear pads. So that's definitely something that uh, turned me on, I guess. I mean, I don't really get that excited about headphones. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> I just picked these up. These are the uh, Hercules HDP DJ M40.1. Boy, that's a long name. When I uh, was online looking up information about these headphones, I, I scanned across a comment that said, these are entry-level headphones, and after, um, after playing with them for a little while last night, I agree with that statement. Nice uh, plastic construction. The headband has a, has a little padding up here that reminds me of a, uh, a soft bristle brush. I don't know really how to explain it. Like, oh, okay, how about this? You know the soft bristle brushes that clean under your fingernails and stuff? Yeah. It feels like that, so when you, when you kind of feel in there, it, that's what it feels like. It's interesting. But on your head, um, they fit nicely, and of course you can adjust them. And the cord is a solid mounted cord and straight. It's just a, a six meter, I mean a, a three meter cord. It came with uh, the optional uh, quarter inch adapter, but it's a... Uh, friction hold. It doesn't, the quarter inch adapter does not screw onto this. Um, one of the features I did find interesting was the, uh, the rotation in the cups. They, they have a spring in there so that when you're done, when you're done using it, like I plan on using it like this, um, they actually spring back into place. I haven't seen that yet, which is not to say they're not out there. It's just, uh, because I've been using these for so long, I haven't really been looking for headphones. So, 
for me, this is a, a really new feature, and uh, I kind of dig it. It's really neat. But uh, springing the headphones out and even uh, wearing them on my head, uh, they're kind of loose. Uh, also, last night I heard a little creaking in the plastic. Again, I agree with the statement that uh, these are entry-level headphones. As far as the sound quality, um, boy, I could talk all day about sound quality. And uh, the next two headphones I'm going to talk about have fantastic sound quality. These have moderate quality. I can hear everything properly, but uh, compared to these others, there's a lot lacking. Now, the, the statistics on these headphones say that they operate between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz, which is not too bad, but again, I go back to entry-level uh, headphones. You can get these uh, online for about 40 bucks. That's, uh, that's these. Now, <clears throat> these headphones, the AKG K240, these are awesome. Now, resting on your head, you can barely tell that there's anything there. They are really light. Um, they have a big ear cup. I don't know if you noticed, but I have kind of a big ear. So they're not really pushing down on my ear. And these are more typically for studio headphones than uh, DJ headphones. And I've never taken these out on the gig. I actually bought these for my wife, who was, at the time, a uh, medical transcriptionist. So she spent eight hours a day with headphones on. And uh, with these being so lightweight, uh, it was really comfortable for her. Now she's not doing that anymore. Uh, she's actually helping me with the DJ business, which is awesome. She's awesome. Um, so these are my uh, everyday computer headphones. If, uh, if it's getting late and I need to listen to uh, YouTube or, or music or whatever, I use these headphones and they are just really great. The uh, frequency response is wonderful. It's got a, a 50 millimeter uh, driver. They're really comfortable, they're really light, and the, the sound quality is just fantastic. I mean, I don't, I don't really know how much more to say about that, but they're, when you have them on, you can barely tell you have them on, right? Now, these are the Hercules HDP DJ Pro M1001. Again, that's a long name. Can't you just say awesome headphones? These headphones <clears throat> are really, really good. I mean, man. Wearing them on your head, they, uh, you can feel that it's there. It's, it's safe. I don't, I don't think that they're going to go anywhere. And uh, they had an interesting descriptive on the box. It said, strong, passive, uh, I can't remember the last word, but uh, something about uh, music or sound having a hard time traveling into the headphone. Exterior sound, right? With these, when I, when I have these entry-level headphones on, Right now, I can hear everything perfectly. And of course, if I had music going, I could hear that very well too. Same thing with these, right? But with these, they're not noise canceling. They just say, let's just say they're noise suppressant. There's no actual active um, uh, noise cancellation feature, so they're not noise canceling headphones, but uh, it is kind of nice and solid. Think, uh, think like safety, safety, uh, Mickey Mouse ears, right? They're along those lines. Um, they, they cut out a lot of the external noise. And in my, in my testing, um, here, let me play this audio clip for you. made on a, on a digital MIDI keyboard or something, but uh, with these headphones, you could just hear the music. With these headphones, I could actually tell you what they recorded the MIDI sound with, uh, like, the, the, like the, the, bass, the bass drum. 
it really sounds like a kick drum. Whereas here, it's just a bass note. Here, it sounds like a kick drum. It was really interesting to make that distinction. Okay, it's making a noise. Ooh, I know what that noise is. <laughs> um, these, uh, these headphones do not have the spring back, uh, spring back into uh, rest position, but again, they're really comfortable on my ear. They got a nice, uh, nice amount of pad, and as I mentioned before, they are not removable pads. I, I can sit here and spin it, but I, I'm not sure if uh, Hercules makes replaceable pads or not. Um, the uh, headband has, uh, is more foamy rather than a, a bristle brush. Um, it's really comfortable, and springing it out, I actually get a, a fair amount of uh, spring back. So when you have them on your head, it's a nice, comfortable, tight fit. I mean, not, it's not too tight. Um, and now, the cord. It says something like it was nine meter cord. I think if you, if you actually unwound it, it would be nine meters, but I, I, don't, I don't really believe that. Um, it has a screw-on adapter piece, but here, on this end, really neat. It has a uh, proprietary uh, twist lock. You push it in and you turn it about uh, 90 degrees and it won't, it won't come out. Uh, that's pretty neat. Also, um, right now, right this second, it's in the left ear cup. And you saw me put it on backwards because I like my, my cords to be on the right side. So with these headphones, I can actually move over to the right side. But for now, I'll just put it back in the left. Um, anyway, these uh, feel real sturdy. Um, torque in it, it, it I, I feel safe, you know. Um, now, I'll have to get back to you with uh, how they do out on the job because these, uh, this little new mark here is, uh, is definitely on his last leg. Me personally, I don't enjoy the coils, the coil um, cable. Sure, you get some distance out of it, but what usually happens is uh, a bunch of twisting here equals twisting there. And sure, you can dangle them and, and let them untwist, but you don't always have time for that. And I'm always fighting with this stupid coil. So, whatever. The Newmark did come with an extra uh, cable, but that was years ago and I lost it. Um, with the Hercules, I mentioned the, the really nifty uh, removable cable. The AKG has one too. It, it's, a, it's a pin lock. It, if you've had any experience with uh, lavalier microphones and how the actual physical microphone plugs into the body pack, that's exactly how this works. Uh, it's really nice. So, what have we learned here? These uh, DJM 40.1 headphones, entry level, you can pick them up for about 40 bucks. Um, I agree with this statement, entry level. The sound is there, but when, when picking headphones, you have to really ask yourself, what are you using these headphones for? Are you using them for home use, like uh, every day on the computer when you don't want to wake up your significant other? Or are you using them for DJing? If you're using them for DJing, then any one of these headphones is going to work for you, especially the, head, the, the, the cheaper uh, entry level. Because in the, in the moment, it doesn't matter if you can hear what the sound recorded is. The, the fact that I can tell the difference between uh, the kick drum and just a bass beat, I don't need to know that when I'm trying to find the next song. I just need to be able to hear the next song and cue it up, get it right to where I want it, maybe do a little mag mix matching. That's what I need for DJ headphones. Um, these have such fantastic quality, uh, it's actually more quality than I need out on, the, out on a gig. I don't, I don't need to hear the kick drum. I just need to, know, to hear the music, you know? So uh, I'm really interested to see how uh, blocking out the exterior noise is gonna, is gonna work out for me. And also, something I forgot to mention was when you do the one earpiece, 
you know, so you can still hear out there. These headphones grip real nice. I, they're, they're solid, I like it. Whereas with these, I think they're gonna fall off. Again, I've never taken these on a gig, but what are you buying these headphones for? Are you gonna spend nine hours a day, all day, every day on headphones? Then these AKGs are the best way to go. When I bought these uh, six years ago, they were about 150 bucks, but last night I, uh, I looked them up and get them for about 100 bucks. Uh, also, my Newmark uh, PHX headphones, you can get them for about 100 bucks. And uh, I, I saw a comment somebody made that they are the worst headphones, the worst DJ headphones ever. I disagree with that statement. I think, uh, I think for what they were and what they've done for me, they, they're fantastic. They paid for themselves, they made their money back. And I still really love the single cup shoulder mount, but that's just my personal style. A lot of people like to, uh, like to just leave them hanging and then when they're ready, maybe pull them up or, I don't know. Again, what are you going to use these headphones for? These are my opinions. I always say there's no right way, there's no wrong way, only the way that works best for you. So take the information as you will, and uh, I'm not trying to push anything on you. Just remember, ask yourself, why are you buying headphones? Are you buying them for DJing? Are you buying them because you're a medical transcriptionist and you're going to spend nine hours a day on, the head on headphones? Do you want to hear the difference between the noise or the noise it was recorded from? Yeah. This is DJ Rock and Rob saying thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And uh, as always, ask some questions. I got answers. Catch you guys later.